Clark Walker, project engineer, Enermec. The barrier I own is hydrocarbon containment. The main source is that hydrocarbon release from small bore tubing assemblies it comes from two main areas. Um, this can be leak sweeps and seeps or complete component failure. Um, in terms of leak sweeps and seeps, the release can, is usually starting small um, and comes from mechanical seal failure or compromise. But if undetected or unmanaged, this can quickly worsen. Um, and when it does, this can pose a threat to the asset and the personnel involved. The major component failure is where we have a fracture of the tubing or the connection has become unconnected from the tubing itself. Um, this has a potential to cause a severe release of gas depending on the pressure in the media within it. As a project engineer, the barrier I own is hydrocarbon containment. Small bore tubing assemblies is one of the leading areas of hydrocarbon release in the industry. Hydrocarbon release from small bore tubing can be accredited to a number of different factors. This can be down to the competency of the personnel involved in maintaining and installing it. It can be down to the awareness of non-involved personnel in the asset, but it can also be down to the maintenance and inspection strategy that the platform, the operator, um, implement themselves. The, the leading cause that we're finding is poor installation, poor maintenance, poor inspection regimes, is making sure that where there is a release, it is, it is captured, it is noticed, it is actioned in a timely manner to make sure that any results of that are mitigated at the first opportunity. Some of the defects we can come across with small bore tubing um, range from under tight fittings to intermix manufacturers, sizes and materials. Um, each one of these has a different potential for failure and a different impact to personnel and being aware of what these defects are and how they can affect the plant and the people working around it is uh, it's a major, a major step to reducing the amount of hydrocarbon releases we find. Examples of people bashing or stepping on or just not taking care of small bore tubing and leaving it to worsen is one of the major areas where a defect or a release can happen without awareness being drawn to it. Um, some of the steps we can make to make sure that this is mitigated is ensuring that all personnel working on small bore tubing have the correct competencies, have the correct qualifications to be involved with it. The personnel around and in the installation have an awareness and have an appreciation of what can go wrong if things were to happen, if it is to be bashed or disconnected or just nipped up, which is still a practice that seems to prevail in the industry, which is strongly, strongly advised against. Personnel involved with making and breaking tubing need to have the correct competencies to do so. Um, there's industry guidelines and requirements for people who are making and breaking fittings, and it's important that these are followed to ensure that the correct materials, the correct components, and the correct media has been used for the different types of tubing and areas that's been used. Personnel not involved with the making and breaking of tubing need to have an awareness of what can be going through and at what pressures as well. The last thing you want is someone knocking or standing on a bit of tubing that has high pressure gas going through it that can lead to a major component failure or the tubing uh, cracking or failing. Another part to be aware of is the vibration associated with small bore tubing and the correct supports. There's a lot of times where the correct support methods is not followed and this can lead to tubing shearing fairly quick. And again, this is a huge potential for a major release of whatever media is inside that tubing. An effective inspection, maintenance and management procedure and strategy should be implemented to assets to make sure that the correct control measures are put in place. With thousands of components on board each asset, it's very difficult to manage this and maintain the correct controls and responsibilities without having a strategy in place to do so. And this is one of the things that can lead to minor releases becoming a major, major accident or major hazard. There are a range of warning signs that can point towards problems ahead with hydrocarbon releases from small bore tubing. Um, the most common ones of this is the lack of an effective inspection, maintenance and management strategy, as well as implementing the correct competencies for the correct personnel. If you do not have an effective inspection, maintenance and management strategy, then it can lead to major problems in terms of managing your small bore tubing and the possibilities for a hydrocarbon release. Through this strategy, you can ensure the correct control measures are in place for the life cycle of the components and the asset, making sure that you're mitigating the risk of a release that can impact the personnel, the asset and the environment from a hydrocarbon release and small bore tubing.